We just have a quick question here from Ryan asking us why traders trend to track the um, non-commercial positioning for COT data instead of something like the assets and institutional positions as well. Now, first of all, Ryan, thanks for the question. When we look at the COT data, the assets and institutional uh, section is actually already included um, in the non-commercial positioning. And it basically just comes down to the type of COT report that you're looking at. So generally speaking, traders tend to use the legacy report. Now the legacy report will basically just have two categories, namely uh, commercials and non-commercial traders. Now we know that commercials are often producers um, of a particular commodity or financial institutions that just wants to reduce their risk and look to hedge against future price changes. So think of a big corn producer, um, but this corn producer thinks that corn prices are actually going lower. So they want to mitigate their risk, their, their risk um, of selling their commodity at a lower price, but also selling corn futures. Now, these players aren't really worried about making a profit on those positions. Um, if their futures contract, for example, loses money, they will make up for it by selling their commodity at a higher price. And if the price of their commodity falls, they are hedged for that because um, then they can make money on the short contract in the futures market. So uh, you can also think of this as an airline company that wants to mitigate their risk uh, for, for oil prices. Let's say they think oil prices will climb. Uh, that'll obviously incre increase the, uh, the cost of buying oil, and they can hedge that risk by buying oil futures contracts. So if the oil price climbs, yes, they will pay more for oil, and th the cost for operating will climb, but that will they'll also make money on that um, futures buying uh, um a buying contract on the oil market. Now, then we have the non-commercials. Now, these guys are just there to make a profit. They're not there to hedge. Um, this will be asset managers, fund managers, hedge funds, etc., that just wants to take speculative trades in order to make a profit uh, when they um, expect any fluctuations in the price. So they don't have any need or want to buy any underlying commodities or currencies, etc. They just want to make profit based on fluctuations. Now, the reasons why we focus on them is because they are the speculators um, that has uh, a lot more to lose. And they will basically jump the gun the quickest and first sign they get that the trend is changing because they um, can lose a lot. Then It's not like the commercials that's hedged that uses those positions as a hedge and they, they can actually make money from the commodity as well. These guys will lose money because it's a purely speculative position. Now also remember, for them to be included as part of the non-commercial section, uh, the orders and positions these uh, traders need to have needs to be large enough to meet the minimum reporting requirements. So these guys really have enough capital and enough ammunition, so to speak, to really move the markets and all the big players, uh, speculative players in the market. So um, to the second part of your question, what about the assets and institutional positions? Now, those are actually already included in the non-commercial section. The difference is just in the reports. So we know that the legacy report basically just looks at commercials and non-commercials. Then you also have the disaggregated report, which basically focuses on commodities, agriculture, etc. Now that basically divides the commercials and non-commercials into various uh, um, uh, sections. So you have producers and merchants versus swap dealers, managed money and other reportables. And then you also have the traders in financial futures. And that is also divided into various subcategories like dealers, asset managers, institutional uh, players, leverage funds, and other reportables. So you can always drill down into those various subsections of the reports, but we find um, it's best and rather just prefer to look at the more um, aggregate data and view the non-commercials as a whole and where they have their positioning.